Teacher Judy, welcome to our virtual class. At the end of this lesson, you are going to enumerate useful and harmful materials found at home. Enumerate useful and harmful materials at home. Materials have different properties that make them useful for different jobs. Here are some properties that materials have. For example, a table is known to be opaque and rigid. Glass are brittle, transparent, and waterproof. Nails are magnetic and strong, while tires are known to be flexible. Here are more about properties of materials. When is a material useful? Materials are considered useful when it serves a purpose. These materials may have properties such as durability, resistance to water, heat or acid, flexibility, elasticity, and hardness. Example is a glass container. Some useful materials can also be reused. Take for example, a container for any solid or liquid material. When it is already empty, it can still be used for other purposes, as a flower vase, a coin bank, or a house decor. Whether a bottle is made of plastic or glass, it has a property that makes it reusable. Now when is a material harmful? Some useful materials may also bring hazards. For example, broken glass jar can cause cuts or injury. Toxic substances may also be present in the things you commonly used, such as paints, cleaners, fumes, gels, or powders. These materials may bring harm to your health, environment, and other organisms when not used properly. That's why you should take precautionary measures when handling and using different materials. Here are examples of toxic substances. They have symbols. Take a look on the symbols used for these substances. We also have here hazardous household products. Now when is a material considered waste? When a material already serves its primary use and can be discarded, it is considered a waste. Waste can be classified as biodegradable and non-biodegradable. Generally, biodegradable materials can be decomposed by bacteria or other living things. Non-biodegradable materials do not rot easily. Here are examples of biodegradable materials. On the other hand, here are the non-biodegradable materials. Now it's time for you to answer. You just have to classify the different materials found in the word pool below as useful or harmful. Write your answer on a piece of paper. If you are done, submit your paper to your teacher.
know more about useful and harmful materials for your additional activity, you just have to list at least three useful materials and two harmful materials you use at home.